Haley, our intern, was in here a couple of minutes ago, and she mentioned something in passing that I had to go back into the intern room. Do you guys know how many interns we have? There's a whole lot. It's not the intern room. That's Tracy's office. Tracy hasn't been here since NSYNC broke up. (laughs) You can't rename it. It has to be Tracy's office, though. It's like forever and ever. Amen. Uh (laughs) Anyway, so I go back there um, because... Haley had said on the air that as she was dating this guy who lives in Tulsa, that had, did you get it all? I did. Okay. <laughs> I just had to make sure I didn't have anything in my teeth. I'm sorry. <laughs> Literally doing the break and Kristen is staring at her teeth <laughs> in her computer to make sure she doesn't have anything stuck in her teeth. Is it the same thing you were trying to get out yesterday? No, I got that. Um. <laughs> and you a-holes, I had that pop, that giant poppy seed for the longest time and it wasn't until I went to use the bathroom that I saw it and I did not get that SOB out until I got home and used floss. <laughs> if you see it in her teeth on our Facebook videos, make sure you comment and let her for know. For sure. <laughs> Anyway, so Haley said something to the effect of, like, when she was dating this guy long distance, they would be FaceTime each other, and then they would both fall asleep, and they would wake up, and they were still FaceTime each other, right? Yeah, it it kind of accidentally became a way for us to have dates, and, like, in, like, a cringy way, but also when it's happening to you, you're just like, oh, this is actually kind of nice. Like, we would just talk on FaceTime and one of us would nod off and fall asleep and you wake up and you're like, oh crap, like we're still on the phone. (laughs) So my son was telling me, I thought it was really bizarre at the time and I didn't know anybody else was doing it that he's got a lot of friends that do this also that are a certain age that they are on the phone with each other, right? And it was unlike when we were growing up, you fell asleep and then it just kind of hung up by itself. But now they schedule time to talk to each other on the phone at night and purposely don't hang up with each other. And they wake up to each other while they're still on the phone. Oh, bless. (laughs) Why? This is not so rare, dude. Um, I think when it's long distance, I think acceptable. When it's just friends you see at school, I think that's really weird and messed up. I don't think that's... I wouldn't do that. It felt like really codependent. Yeah. I mean, because I do remember doing that when I was in high school and I was so excited about my phone I had in my room that lit up, which was the worst decision ever because I couldn't hide when I was on the phone. So I had to hide the phone underneath the covers so I could be on the phone. But I will never forget, like, Jimmy Durham and I fell asleep on the phone together or whatever. And I, (laughs) there, there was like this comforting aspect of it, but at the same time, why? <laughs> These are scheduled, right? And then they both wake up at the same time when one of their alarms goes off. <laughs> so they're on the phone when they both wake up, and then at 7.15, the alarm goes off and they both wake up. Yeah, no, I, nobody needs to be seeing what I look like as soon as I wake up. Is it, is it just the feeling of, like, you feel like you're waking up with someone? Yeah. Is that what it is? Is it? Yeah, well, because the first couple times it happened, it was on accident. We had been watching, like, I was like, if you, you know, start this movie at this exact second, I'll start at the same second. Well, it's like we're watching the movie together, and then I accidentally fell asleep, and then he accidentally fell asleep. And sometimes the noise when you hang up on a FaceTime call, that can wake someone up because it's like a, it's a noise that happens. So it's like, I don't want to wake her up by hanging up. So I just stay on the phone. <laughs> and then It's a thing, like, man. Yeah, and then... After a couple of times, I was like, it's kind of nice, like comforting. You know, when you're in a long distance relationship, you don't get to just, hey, are we staying at my place or your place tonight? So it became kind of like our own cringy little way of like being together. But I only think it's acceptable if you're in a long distance (laughs) relationship. I think if you're just friends from school or whatever. It happens a lot. I think that's weird. Okay. The Burt Show.